Throughout this season, there have been two players splitting time between the pipes in Ontario. Cal Peterson was a highly sought-after free agent out of Notre Dame, who the Kings chased and eventually landed this past offseason. Peterson split time most of this season with the 26-year-old Jack Campbell. Originally drafted by the Dallas Stars in the first round of the 2010 draft, Campbell struggled to establish himself in the Stars organization before eventually being traded to the Kings in 2016. Over the past two seasons, the Reigns coaching staff has worked with Jack to help him find that form that made him a top prospect in the first place. And all that hard work culminated with a special moment on February 27th in Las Vegas. My junior coach used to the analogy, if you're on a plane, your goalies are in first class because they're most important. When you've got a rock back there that is comfortable and confident within its system, it benefits everybody. Guys can be as great as they can be at the AHL level, but to, to, to make that next step into the NHL level, it's a big step. At some point, you got to find out if they can do it. I think last year was difficult on everybody. We haven't drafted a lot of goaltenders, and then, you know, we had stuff that was out of our control that kind of took what we thought was a pretty good goaltender pipeline and depleted it. You, know, you can't be full and loaded with talent all the time. Guys come and go, and sometimes trades happen, and we got caught a little bit there for a stretch with nobody. Other than having the best goalie in the world at the top of it, it's been a tough thing to look at for the last few years. And now you've got Jack and you've got Cal down in the minors, and, you know, we're pretty excited. Being here in Ontario, we've been spoiled with some really good goalies. It seems like it's contagious from, you know, one guy to the next. There's always these good goalies that come in and do a good job. When we got Jack Campbell last year, he was a guy that, uh, probably was a little bit mentally beat up and didn't really know what he was as a goalie. When I first got him and, and met him, I br brought him out to Vancouver. I recognized <laughs> right away he had some big confidence issues coming from his pedigree and what he had done and what he was supposed to do. He really had lost his weight. The Dallas Stars select from the U.S. National Development Program, Jack Campbell. I think the experience of getting drafted 11th overall was just incredible because I had all my family there and my close friends. For them to kind of just be there and to soak in the moment with me, that was the best part. I just remember all I wanted to do was just get home and start working. Going into that first training camp with Dallas, I just really expected to make the team. After that first training camp, getting sent back to junior, I was like, okay, it was eye-opening. Um, like, you know, I'm, I'm not ready to play in the NHL and I need to work really hard. And I think that kind of messed my confidence up for a little bit. The last two years in Texas, I just wasn't happy. I didn't want to play hockey like there and, um, it just, it just wasn't working. And there's been a trade. Goalie Jack Campbell has been acquired by the LA Kings in exchange for Nick Ebert. I got a call on draft day and LA traded for me. And right away I was like, holy cow, like, this is a crazy opportunity here. Like I cannot let this one slip up. Instantly I had that motivation to just get on track. It was just such a great feeling knowing somebody believed in me. He had no idea who he was. And I said, just, you know what? You, you used to be able to stop the puck because you're athletic and you have great skating ability, great reflexes. I said, let's bring that back out in your game. In the middle of the ice for Thompson, shot block, rebound, oh. Campbell, diving save! Once Jack understood who he was and what he needed to be and understood his game, his game just flourished after that. We're not reverse, reverse! Heads up, heads up! My whole life I've put so much pressure on myself. 
it was just such a great feeling to come in and just feel like, hey, let's just keep working on your game and nothing else. Hey, Birdie, Birdie, Birdie! Yeah, time, one game! All's good! The bottom line is the time, the effort, and the willingness that Jack's put in to improve his game and take it to another level. And Jack's done a great job. Jack went from a guy last year that played just about every single game and had a fantastic season to kind of flip-flopping this year. We went out and got Cal Peterson as a college free agent. We told Jack that he wasn't going to play as much, but we also told Cal, you know, when we were trying to recruit him, that if the situation was him and Jack, they're both going to have to earn their ice time. When you come to pro, there's, you know, enough games to go around for both of us, so I think we looked at it, you know, as an opportunity to push each other in each game. You know, if the guy before you has a big game, it's just more of an opportunity for you to come in and have a big game too. When I look at my season this year, I feel like I've played better, and I think a big part of that is because of Cal. He goes in and plays great. I want to go in and play great for the team. It's a perfect definition of healthy competition. I get to see it all the time and every day in practice. They each grab a net, and regardless of the drill we're doing, um, they finish it out, and they finish it out hard, and they don't want to give up a goal. You can see that they're intently watching each other, but they're also, it, it, there's no animosity at it at all. It's, it's, it's almost an admiration that they have for each other, and it's how hard and, and how much they want to battle, and they both try to push the envelope. Jack's real close, and I think he's paid his dues. I have one NHL start under my belt, so I'm just waiting for another opportunity. I definitely feel confident if I get the opportunity, I'll take advantage of it. LA working on a deal to get uh, Toby Reeder and Scott Wedgwood from Arizona. Believe the return involves Darcy Kemper. We didn't really want to lose Darcy because he's been so good for us. We knew we weren't going to be able to resign him. So knowing that Jack Campbell has done everything we ask of him. For the last two years, he's worked tremendously hard. Bill Ranford trusts him, and we felt it's his time to shine. I knew that it was going to be a big deal for him. He's had a lot of really highs and a lot of really lows. So just bringing that back and, and finding himself and finally feeling like he's achieved a goal. For Vegas, William Carlson ahead for Schmidt. Backhander stopped immediately by Campbell. He has all the attributes to be a, a number one guy. He can win hockey games. A centering pass for Carlson turned out by Campbell. Eric Howler shot, saved by Campbell. I was sitting next to Bill Ranford during that game and I could see he was just, he had so much pride into the kit. He handled all the adversity. That'll do it. Congratulations, Jack Campbell, his first NHL win. Not everybody gets a reset button in the career they want. It's been a long journey for me. I think the beauty is, is you just learn a lot of life lessons and it makes you more mature and just a better person. We're always going to be chipping at each other and then all of a sudden he was face to face with me and I gave him a little cross check. and. Fell down a bit and then got up and all of a sudden we we're in a, we we're in a little battle there. It's expected when you play San Diego and you don't want to back down again because we got to let them know that they're in for a long weekend here. And you know, I just tried my best to to get a spark for the team after getting scored on too.